Hey guys, Three and Out has its own YouTube channel and we plan on doing coward type numbers. Here's the key. If you're watching this, you like our content, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the page, leave a comment, interact with our stuff. We do stuff on this page on a daily basis. 365, Three and Out podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe right now. Okay, night game. Ravens five and a half. Obviously, the Niners look fucking dominant, even when they're kind of going through the motions at moments, which they have the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, the Ravens look solid, but that that running back injury is pretty devastating. Uh, a lot of MVP buzz coming into this game. I mean, Lamar throws three or four touchdowns and the Ravens win. I mean, he can fucking throw his hat right in the ring. To me, the Niners win by 10 plus. Purdy's throwing three or four touchdowns. You could argue it would just be a wrap, like you said. I mean, the quarterback usually – it usually comes from the top seed quarterback. Like, this is usually how it works. Uh, thoughts on this game? Being a Ravens guy, I'm a Niner guy. Let's let's fucking talk it out. Yeah, I would say if Purdy wins – if the Niners just win this game, Purdy wins the MVP. Uh, McCaffrey, also, no shot. No. I just – that voters just won't – but it's just a quarterback award now. Um, unless, like, McCaff- if McCaffrey set – I mean, it's ridiculous what McCaffrey's doing, too, if you look from a rushing and receiving perspective. But I think the only way a running back can win it is, like, they have to, in, in today's day and age, You number one, you have to be on the team that gets the bye. You'd have to set, like, the NFL single-season rushing record and then maybe the touchdown record on top. It's just such a quarterback award now um, that – I think that if Purdy wins this weekend, he wins it. And I think if he loses, he still has a really good chance of winning it. But if he they win this game, uh, you know, the only – like Lamar could get back in there if – because Allen had a shot if, like, they ran the table and he put up huge numbers. But, like, they just ran the ball 50 times last week, yeah. so that didn't help his case. Uh, eliminated Dak. The Dolphins guys are done. Um, so Lamar would have to throw up, like, four touchdowns here. And then he gets the Dolphins for the one seed next week and then go nuts again. So, like, all these things have to happen for, I think, Purdy not to win it. But, yeah, I like the Ravens plus five and a half here. Um, I The injury to Mitchell does hurt. But I'm I'm curious to see what the, you know, because the Ravens' number one rushing offense in the NFL, if you adjust, 49ers are right up there as well. But the Ravens' run D has been better. And of late, especially because of these injuries that the 49ers are dealing with. So it's Wednesday. It's early. We don't know the injury report. But will Armstead and Hargrave play? I don't know. Because last week, they gave up eight yards per carry to the Cardinals, which would be, you know, and then you have Lamar Jackson, which would be a major path to success for the Ravens. Lenore, rib injury. He's such a big piece to this 49ers defense. Early in the season, this 49ers D, the past day in particular, had major, major issues. And one of the main um, culprits was Isaiah Oliver. Yeah. And you were able to get him out of the lineup. They made a really smart change, and they got Lenore in there, and he's been playing out of his mind. If he can't play, then you're you you know you're going back to – you might go to Oliver, you might go to somebody else. And then your secondary, I think, is back to that unit that had some holes early in the season. So, yeah, I think that there's a couple things in play here. I think that this is going to be a really a fantastic game. And I think that the 49ers are probably at the peak of their market. They're, I mean, look, they're, they're laying five and a half against the one seed in the AFC at home. But it's John Harbaugh as an underdog. As a Ravens fan and as a better, um, it's something that I almost always bet. They're just such a well-coached team. They're always so well. It doesn't even matter. The they, they, they fired his brother. They fired his brother. Yeah, fired his brother. They, they, but they always, this team will always be just so buttoned up for situations like this. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. I remember last year betting them plus seven when they went into Cincy with Huntley in the game. They, they should have won, should have beat Joe Burrow in the Bengals in the game, but they fumbled at the end, yeah. but they still covered. For what it's worth, Harbaugh 19 and four against the spread as an underdog since 2018. Lamar Jackson, who's, who's 19 and one. Straight up against the NFC, you'll see that stat a ton. Part of that is they, you know, they're just much better than a lot of NFC teams. They're not playing the 49ers every week, but there's also just an adjustment when they play. You know, when you see Lamar's speed at first, so that works in the Ravens' favor just early on in the game, and you got to adjust to the angles um, when you're not used to seeing him. But Lamar Jackson, as an underdog or favorite of less than a field goal, is 15 and one against the spread. Uh, but this team, 
you know, to look at the better defense, also big kicker edge here, the better special teams, um, and these injuries that San Fran is dealing with on the defensive end could end up making it a bit easier for the Ravens. Now, I do think that the Ravens defense is not going to shut down. The Ravens defense has been, you know, dominant all year. They face some beneficial, a lot of beneficial situations, backup quarterbacks, injuries on offensive lines, weather. This 49ers offense is just playing at a different level. I will say that they have one of the best defensive coordinators in the NFL. He changes up the looks every week. Maybe he, he can uh, confuse Purdy into a mistake or two. But I just think ultimately this game should be like, I mean, I make it three and a half. It's 49ers minus three and a half. Um, and I'll ride with Harbaugh as an underdog you know, catching five and a half pretty much with anyone, anywhere, any place, any time. Um, so, yeah, I just I just think this is too many points. I think it'll be a great game. I think the most likely result is 49ers by three. I mean, I mobile quarterbacks give most teams trouble, but, I mean, that that is, I would say, over the years somewhat of a kryptonite because the Niners, once they get a lead, can overwhelm a guy who can't really move. Yeah. And, you know, you, Kyler has given the Niners fits – you know, over the years, it just it's just hard when you get a guy that's that athletic, uh, and you can't just your scheme is not guaranteed even when you get it right to do anything right because he can play outside. The other thing is obviously the Ravens have really good D tackles, right? So you know you're not just and then it's not like the Niners are rolling out Jason Kelsey and Larry Allen. So I, I would imagine running it up the middle with Roquan is going to be difficult, and then we Kyle doesn't mind he'll go to the edges, but if you just sell out on that. You know, if you can take away the, the only way to beat the 49ers, you have to stifle the run because that yeah. fucks up their whole thing. Kyle wants to run it and he'll stick with it. Unlike 99.9% of coaches in the modern day era. But like, I, I would imagine they will just, they'll treat Christian McCaffrey like Belichick treated Marshall Falk in the Super Bowl or whatever. Just take him out and that'll just kind of unravel him and just, hey, Purdy, let's be the MVP. Yeah. And uh, that, that's where most of the teams the Niners have played this year. Beside the Browns that one game, just couldn't match their physicality. And just the Ravens and the Jags, it was like it was a heavyweight fighter against a lightweight, you know, because the Ravens like playing that physical style. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's going to be – I hope the Ravens come to – you know, I know they'll come to play, but just play well because I would love to see the Niners in a big – a tight game. Like it's it's kind of boring sometimes, and crazy to say, watching them just like cruise to wins. Because if you're going to feel good, like they're the Super Bowl favorite for a reason, but like one of these playoff games is going to be tied going in the fourth quarter. Hell, maybe even down. Like, are they comfortable in that spot? Is the quarterback comfortable in that spot against a really good team? And I, I th this is the Niners don't match, see they're equal often because teams just don't hit like them. Well, the Browns did and the Ravens do. The Cowboys, in theory, should, but like, as you saw on Sunday, they just. They don't all the time. The Eagles definitely are not physical enough, right, on, on defense. And I, I think it's going to be, and like you said, coaching-wise, is Mike McDon McDonald, right, is the defensive coordinator? Yeah. The, the dude that the Harbaugh brothers have shared, like, obviously that guy's big time. And Todd yeah, Munkin no. has been has been good this year. You know, I mean, fuck, it's, it's gone well. Yeah, no, McDonald's great. Uh, I think this is the, um, as of right now, you, know, you always have to give a lot of respect um, to – Mahomes and Andy, yeah, and you know, but they're just there's they just look a little off right now. But you know, once what what, in, what can you get this matchup Super Bowl odds? Have you have you looked ten to question. one? Let me look fifteen um, to one. And then I, I would say that you know the the one seed is also really important in the AFC. Um, and I'll I'll pull it up right now. But the, the, the Ravens the Ravens have the Dolphins the following week, right? Correct. Even if they lose this game. Um, not the end of the world because that's in Baltimore. Correct. Then they pretty much are playing. Um, let's see exact result. Um, let's do name the finalists. Um, Ravens 49ers is five to one. That's the favorite. The next is Chiefs 49ers, uh, seven to one. Um, Ravens, Ravens Bills might be a little tasty. Or I mean, uh, Niners Bills. Niners Bills. That's what I was going to say. The only the other team that I'm as a Ravens fan, I'm petrified of is the Bills. Bills Niners thirteen to one. Um, I don't mind that as a, as a little flyer. 
Um, do you think the Bills are winning the division? Um, it comes. Wait, so they're one game. Now they're two. They're, they, they, need they, the, they need they need to yeah. win the next two, and it's the Chargers and the Patriots, and the yeah, Dolphins have the Cowboys and the Ravens the yeah. next two. So if they lose one of those games, Sunday Week 18 is for the division. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, so I think the Bills match up really well with them. Um, and I think the Bills are going to beat them week 18. So, yeah, and I think I don't think that the Dolphins are sweeping Dallas and Baltimore. That'd be one uh, of the wildest 11 and six seasons we've seen since the 17 game thing started. The Bills just went 11 and six. At one point in time, they felt like they were going to go six and fucking 11. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if, if they don't, then I feel bad for the two. Yeah, or three C that has to play them in the first round. Honestly, the the Browns and Bills would just be teams that are like fuck. That's a tough first round. And you look across, like someone gets Seattle in the first round. It's a little bit. Yeah, you're animal. you're praying and hoping that the no disrespect to Jake Browning, but like the Bengals, the Steelers, the Colts, um, one of those teams can. Uh, and now Jamar's out. I mean, it's it, yeah. to me the Bengals and their defense. It, 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 honestly, like I'm on the DJ Reader's out for the year. He's like their best defensive <laughs> player. I, I think Tomlin, like it's kind of time. I don't know how he could possibly he loses with the, all the guys that are missing now. You can't beat him. And Jake Brown just runs circles around Trubisky, which he's clearly a better player. Like what, what are we doing? I mean, what what are we doing? Yeah, I I think it's 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 the end for Tomlin. Although I will say one bonus bet for Saturday. Uh, I did bet the I did bet the Steelers. One last Tomlin hurrah spot. A lot of it has to do with the Bengals injuries. No yeah. chase, and then DJ Reader in the middle. That's just a, it's a massive loss. Sucks. The Steelers yeah. should be able to just run the ball here. And Browning, the expiration date is going to be up soon. Um, so uh, yeah, I did bet the Steelers reluctantly, but on Saturday I forget who was calling that game, but when he got hurt whoever the analyst was was like lou told us in the meetings he thought this guy was the best guy at hit, doing his job in the nfl at stopping the run yep. like and, and clearly he was i mean that's Eats you know blocks. you lose those guys yeah you just that's fucking they, they play a massive role because it's easier for your linebackers to just eat up tackles look at the back look at the the ravens yep. you saw the niners like they have elite linebackers yet you just you put me and you in there at d tackle like i'm sorry kinlaw's getting driven back seven yards either way. It's like, it's easy to just get body in front of Fred Warner, or Drake Greenlaw, and you, you slice and dice. Them. Yeah. Not only can you stop the run, but then, you know, you're when you're, when you're rushing the passer, it's e everything is easier. Yeah. You know, for coverage sure. is easier. So yeah. Uh, but you didn't, uh, so I'll say, um, you didn't give me your prediction. I'll say 49ers win by three. Yeah. I, I, I'm with you. I, I think this, I think this thing gets weird. I, I I think this is since the since the Browns, the first team that when the Niners, you know, I think the Niners are gonna fucking come into this like they did the Eagle game or the Cowboy game. But I, I think this team can match their physicality, and I I fully expect it to be a close game headed in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and uh, I I like the Niners. I mean, at home, but by no means like I, I don't I wouldn't bet my life savings on it. Like I I think you're taking the right tactic. I, I definitely would not take them minus, you know, five, six, five and a half, whatever the number ends up at, would not feel comfortable. And the the one question with Brock, who I think, listen, the argument, he's fucking good. Yeah, He's good. Is he a $500 million quarterback? We don't have to do that yet. Is he as good yeah. as Mahomes or Allen? No. Is he damn good? Yes. But, like, he has to prove, because he just hasn't been in the situation when he has, he hasn't got it done because they blow out everybody. What happens when he's down three with five minutes left and they're, you know, the Ravens take the lead 24-21, the Niners get Can he drive him right down against a real, you know, a big time team? He did it against he did it against the Browns and Moody missed the kick. Yeah. And listen, I, I don't think he's not capable of it, but like part of it is you just have to do it. Yeah, know? part of that's just getting experience. It, it's doing no that. different than Lamar. Like yeah. Lamar is has a lot to prove in January, right? Yeah. He's never played well. Like, should the Ravens win the AFC? Yeah, probably. But, like, would you bet your life savings on it? How could you? It's not like you're betting on fucking Elway or Brady here. Now, yeah. he he could be able to do it, no problem. He's clearly way better than he's ever been. It's like you watch him, you go, this is a high-level elite player. But, like, th there comes a pressure. I used to be a huge Peyton Manning fan, like, when in the early 2000s. And he was fucking awesome. And then you get there, and you're like, God, why does Peyton look so tight? 
you know? So, and I don't expect Lamar to look tight, but <clears throat> it's part of, you know, it's what makes great players legends. You got to do yeah. it in the games when 40 million people are watching and it's win or go home. So I, I think, I think this is a great precursor for both these guys. You know, it's just whoever wins this. And, and like, even honestly, if the Niners were to lose a close game or the Ravens lose a close game, I think it's going to be one of those. You hold your head high. Now, if the Ravens were to lose by a lot, you know, let's say double digits, I think everyone would just say no one can beat this team. Yeah. Which I think most people kind of lean now, but I think that could easily change if if the Ravens go toe-to-toe with them and definitely beat them. You go, okay, they, they are beatable. I think if the Ravens win this game, then the, the I don't think the narrative will change around the 49ers in... They're the heavy favorite in the NFC. In the NFC, that won't change. People will take the the Ravens a little more serious, but it'll be the the conversation that'll be tabled until the Super Bowl, if the 49ers make it, that you'll hear about for two weeks is the AFC over NFC. So the AFC has been really good against the NFC this year. You saw the Bills against the Cowboys last week. Yeah. Um, and then if the Ravens go into San Fran, that's the, uh, the narrative that I think will switch. But yeah, if the 49ers win this game comfortably, then... Um, it's, I mean, what, what what are we talking if they're in the Super Bowl? A seven point favorite minimum? Yeah, um, yeah. It could yeah. some some odds make? When's, when's the last time a line's been that big in the Super Bowl? It's been a while. I, yeah, I think back to like, I know page like the Patriots teams way uh, you know ten fifteen years ago maybe. I think that I, I remember betting the Broncos against uh, Cam Newton. They were like four, I think. And four, that was the the big. Falcons were four plus four and a half against the Patriots, but yeah. It's maybe the Eagles against often. the Patriots with Foles. Maybe they were uh, no, maybe six, seven. I don't know. I got to go back and look. But yeah, that some odds makers right now um, have because I have the Niners one, the Ravens two, my power ratings. But some odds makers, I don't have it quite this high. Have the Niners five points better than um, five, five and a half points better than everyone else on a neutral field, which is crazy in the NFL to have one team that far. That's like a, a college yeah. thing. Um, so, yeah, and if they win this game, then that that's only going to get bumped more if, if they win this comfortably. And it, cover, it, so. they, yeah, if they, if they cover for sure. So, 